Well, Wendy made all the calls because all the connections are here this afternoon for Chatterton's keeper, but they've elected Paddy to have a chat. But firstly, well done to the winning breeders, Summerhill Stud with the son of traffic guard Anton Marcos, Wendy Whitehead and all the connections. Wendy, a very good debut from your horse. Yeah, very nice, Sam Dees. He's, he's a lovely horse, this, and uh, hopefully he goes on from here. I just want to say well done to, to Paddy. It's his first win in his colours, so well done to him. That's absolutely fantastic. It's Valerie, Valerie and Tremaine's first horse um, that they've owned as well. And uh, to Jeff Perkins and to Ian Howard, well done here. And to Dean Gaffney, Dean's here as well. It's, it's fantastic to have a nice one early in the day. I mentioned that debut because uh, the way he was finishing over 1,200, I would have been a bit more confident over seven furlong, but what a ride from Anton. Me too. That's, that's what we were a little bit worried about, but um, he, he ran a nice race today. And uh, where to from here? Because, uh, you know, he's a type of horse that uh, looks promising for you, uh, Wendy. Slowly, slowly catch a monkey, yeah? <laughs> Anything else from your side? Oh, we've got a couple of chances later on in the day. Um, the next race, uh, we, we've got that... Um, a little filly, uh, I can't think what her name is, sorry. Let me just have a look here. Silver Wisp. Yes. She had a nice, uh, nice day with him here, so I'm, uh, I'm uh, expecting a nice run from her. That filly Sweet Empress, you must put in the quartets and the, the, the place accumulator and um, the, P, uh, the big six and all that. And then Alphonse Baby in the last race, she's also got a great chance today. Thanks for that, Wendy. Thank you very much. And all the best for the rest of it. Let's get Anton Marcus in before we chat to Paddy. Anton, nice start to the meeting, and he obviously was... Uh, you know, you were impressed with that first run? Yeah, these, I guess I, I just went for a horse that I thought maybe had a little bit of scope, you know. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't privy to any information at all, you know. You were on the winner. Yes, I was, but I wasn't privy to it prior to asking. Okay, sure, sure. sure. That's what I meant by that. Okay. Um, yeah, and he, he went down very well, and uh, he came back nicely. I think he's, he's progressive. Um, I think he'll get better, Dees, um, the more he races. I, I was quite impressed with today's win. I know, I know there wasn't a tremendous amount of depth with respect to the others, but I, I, thought, it was, I thought it was a good win, Dees. Got an announcement upstairs? Note there is a race review into the start. Race review into the start does not affect the top few. So race review into the start. Uh, review there, Anton. But uh, coming back to the source, uh, yep, he's worn well over 1,200. You had him in a beautiful posse from the draw. Yeah, he did all the work. He helped me out. He had the gate speed, which I, I never really anticipated, you know. Um, so when you get rides like this, it's, it's pretty straightforward, Dees. On Sunday, you were a super help. You were a great help. I got a lot of messages saying thanks for those interviews that we did in race number one because you really helped the guys out. Can you do the same today? Dees, yeah, look, I've got a competitive card again. Um, I thought Duncan's too, I thought they had outside chances. Um, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be for pick a winner from, from Barrier 7, despite the fact that he's, he's come down in the ratings. He'd need a, an ounce of luck from there, you know. Um, Lavalette, maybe the blinkers an improver. Sure. Probably better over a bit further and looking at a form, possibly even the turf, you know. But I mean, I still thought they were rides that could earn. Um, and Glenn's filly, I mean, everybody knows she's, she's pretty tidy out the gate. She's quite an erratic filly, you know. But um, I thought she was a big runner in that race, Dees. The one big question I have to ask you with regards to Roy's cycle is the distance. Dees, you know, um, you know I, I don't envisage it being that much of an issue, despite the fact that he is dropping in trip. You know, I guess it all just depends on how far out of his ground he is, you know. But he, he seems to move up pretty well you know, over whatever trip he runs over, you know. You know, surely in an ideal world, you, you rather would have had him in an eight as opposed to a seven. But once again, from the gate, there's no reason why he can't earn a check these. Thanks for that, Anton. Thank you, Dees. Lovely. Sheldon with another announcement. Come through, guys. Uh, Sheldon with another announcement. <laughs> no further action. No further action into the race review at the start. No further action. No further action. Uh, you can wait for the all clear. Paddy, you're going to represent the guys. Uh, well done with the swing. Thank you very much. Uh, that was most exciting. And thank you very much to Wendy. She put a lot of work into, the, into this horse. And also to Marcus, who, who really pulled it through for us today. So pleased. Uh, Wendy mentioned the first time in your colours, but you've had uh, you know, percentages with other guys' colours, I presume. Yeah, that's quite right. Eh? So um, I got away with having to speak on this uh, after the race. But yeah, this is very, very exciting and very new for me, but I'm very happy. The colours, do they mean anything? I see it's orange, blue and white. 
No, well, it's more of a of a blue and, and blue and red, yeah. Okay. So, but yeah, no, it was fantastic. Uh, Wendy sorted it out for me, and I'm I'm so happy. It's so nice to be here, and and also Ian is a good mate of mine, and we we really enjoying this. Well, Paddy, all the best to yourself and your partners, and there is enough champagne for all you guys. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot. Lovely. That's uh, Paddy representing all the winning owners, and in the winning room, his name is Africa, and he'll receive his thousand rand from Mr. Peter Barker. Peter, number eight. That's where we're at. Come through. We're going to put the number eight there in the background. That's it. That's the winning room. Africa getting his thousand rand from Peter Barker representing Hollywood Bets. Okay, it's a wrap of race number two. Up next will be the pick six, and all that will begin at 14.05. It's the big one, the pick six up next, race number three.